Let's plan this essay on space spending. So in the 21st century, the space race, so it's definitely know it's a space race between nations, has gained considerable attention in the media. While some people believe that significant government spending on space research and infrastructure is acceptable, others believe there are more urgent problems on Earth that require attention. So we've got two different sides of an argument, which is very clear, and we can often see this in IELTS. So the question is, to what extent do you agree or disagree that space spending should continue? So we've got an agree or a disagree. Should it continue, or should we be spending more on Earth and daily life? So let's make a bit of a plan here. Let's just put a uh, make a nice clear mind map by space spending by government. And I'm just going to put a little circle around that and I'm going to try and just gather some ideas and just think, well, we just know that it's it's very expensive, isn't it? It's a it's a hugely expensive task. We've we've got to get the rockets, we've got to do the launch. Uh, what else do we need? There, there needs to be a lot of research that goes into there. Uh, there's a huge staff of people involved in the space spending. So it really is a very expensive sort of undertaking. Um, alternatively, we could be spending uh, our money on maybe education. We could be spending it on uh, health or we could be spending it on, on other things like uh, uh, poverty uh, reduction. There are there are good things that we can actually do with this money. So now I need to try and think, I've got some ideas, I've brainstormed some ideas. Do I agree or disagree that space spending should continue? So I'm looking at this, these types of elements and then I'm thinking about this and I probably think that actually this is, this is the area where the spending should really happen. This is more of a priority. So if we start to think about our introduction now, and we, we know that this information here goes into the introduction. We, we can either have three sentences or four sentences that state these um, pieces of information. But let's just try and find what the information is first of all. So the topic is usually found in the first sentence or two and we can say that um, really that the topic is about, well it's not just the first sentence, it's uh, significant government spending. That's really the key topic there. So um, topic is uh, government spending on space projects. And the question is, well, is this government spending too much compared to daily life? So uh, is gov spending too much compared to daily life and the opinion well I've got to try and think well if I say if I agree then that that should continue if I disagree then I will start to spend it on other things so I'm going to actually disagree with this and I'm going to make it clear in my thesis statement, and this is kind of the thesis statement, the opinion statement. I disagree uh, because there are other priorities in education, uh, health, and uh, poverty. So I know that there's there's other issues there. I think they're the most important. And so this is what my introduction is going to mention, these three things. And by doing this in my introduction, I'm making it really clear to the examiner that I know what I'm talking about. I know what the topic is. I know really what the key question is. And I've, I've given an opinion uh, to this question here. So I've actually answered it really nicely. And then I've got to think about the structure of my overall essay. Body paragraph one. Well, I'm going to say that, okay, well, I'm going to talk about 
so this sort of side I'm going to say was space uh, research and spending is uh, somewhat important but it's not going to be my strongest paragraph my strongest paragraph really is going to be about education health and poverty these are the most important aspects that I wish to emphasize in my essay. And then in my conclusion, well, of course, I need to recap and, and say what is the, the, the to sum up. And I'm, I'm going to sum it up by saying something like the, the daily issues uh, are the most important and deserve attention and spending. There we go. So that's uh, quite a, a neat structure. I've spent a little bit of time planning. When I'm planning, I would probably just do this part and then I'm writing my, my introduction based on my understanding. I, I probably don't need to do, write out all of this. Uh, but if you feel like you need to, or you feel like it's important to try and understand what the topic and the question and the opinion is, you can take a couple of notes for sure. Um, and I think it's, it is important to make a little bit of a plan like this in your uh, three, three minutes planning time, just so that you can feel comfortable that when it comes time to write the essay, you're just focusing on language and grammar, uh, vocabulary, all of the important things you don't really have to think about the structure of the essay at all.